In this topic, you will learn how to use the T distribution table to obtain the T critical value. Now, considering the following examples, let's start with the first case. In this example, the distribution is left tailed, the significance level is 0.10, and the degrees of freedom is 14. In the first step, select the row for one tail. Then select the column for the significance level equals 0.10. And then select the row for the degree of freedom equals 14. The T critical value is minus 1.345. In this example, the distribution is right-tailed, the significance level is 0.05, and the degrees of freedom is 24. In the first step, select the row for one tail. Then select the column for the significance level equals 0.05. And then select the row for the degrees of freedom equals 24. In this example, the distribution is two-tailed, the significance level is 0.01, and the degrees of freedom is 34. In the first step, select the row for two-tail. Then select the column for the significance level equals 0.01. And then select the row for the degrees of freedom equals 34.